You may think of Vikings as barbarians, pirates, and pillagers, but we bet you didn't know there's much more to their story. The Vikings first made a name for themselves in AD 793, when a group of them attacked a monastery off the coast of what is now northeastern England. Over the next two centuries, they spread through Europe, the North Atlantic, and beyond, during what is known as the Viking Age. They skillfully navigated the seas and waterways of Europe in their famous wooden longships, staging hit-and-run raids of coastal cities and towns. The Vikings weren't all part of a single race, and they didn't have a single ruler or central government. Instead, there were many different groups, each led by a different chieftain. Hailing from Scandinavia, they left their barren homelands to seek fortune in other lands. It was their willingness to destroy institutions and objects with religious value that earned the Vikings the enduring hatred of Christian Europe, who considered them uncivilized, violent barbarians. But in reality, they were much more than that. The Vikings were some of the most skilled seamen of the time, and their longships were lighter, faster, and more maneuverable than any other crafts of the day. Viking merchants peacefully traded Scandinavian furs, timber, and other goods with countries as far away as the Mediterranean and the Middle East. Some people in the countries they traded with or even invaded came to respect the Vikings and even enlisted them as allies. Swedish Vikings, known for their strength, formed the elite Varangian Guard, which protected the Byzantine emperors in 11th century Constantinople. And Slavic peoples in Eastern Europe hired Vikings to collect taxes and help them fight off Turkish warriors. In Ireland, the Viking settlement at Dublin became one of the leading ports in all of Europe. And by the end of the 9th century, Vikings had conquered nearly all of England. Their influence can be seen clearly in place names and personal names in the region, and on the English language itself. The Viking Age had a tremendous impact outside of Europe as well. In the late 10th century, Norse Viking Eric the Red founded a colony on Greenland that flourished for over 400 years. His son, Leif the Lucky, would go even further, landing in what is now Canada nearly 500 years before Christopher Columbus made his first transatlantic trip. The Viking Age may have lasted less than 300 years, but in that time, these complicated people made an important mark on Western society and the world. In a whole lot of ways, we bet you didn't know.